Joshu Higashikata, born 1992, is the definition of a spoiled teenager. He's an entitled, self-absorbed, loudmouthed brat. And most of the Jojo fandom believes that he is an awful character and everyone has a huge hate boner for him. Some people even go as far as to say that he is a rapist. However, I believe this can be further for the truth. From the truth. Which is why for the next 5-10 to 10 minutes I am going to go through and address most of the common complaints and criticism he gets about his character while using various excerpts and manga panels. So, spoilers ahead for Milagro Man, Shakedown Road, The Beginning of Jojolian, Dawn at the Gashikata Household, and Paper Moon Deception. For some background, Joshu is the second son of the Higashikata family and is 19 years old. He is a university student attending the same university as Yasuo Hirose. You can consider the Joe bro of this part, as Joshu is a lot more of a minor character than you think. Yasuo and Joshu were childhood friends, and Joshu eventually fell in love with her. Then one day at the Wall Eyes, he sees Yasuo with a naked Josuke Higashikata, the Jojo of this part. Joshu hates Josuke because in his eyes, Josuke took his crush who has been his friend from childhood and in his eyes stole it away from him, as well as quite literally taken his eyes. Now you're forced to live with this person and treat him with respect as he takes your room, forcing you to live in the garage, and your own father seems to respect him more than he respects you. Josuke's taken his best friend, his little sister's in love with him, and Joshu feels like this guy's ruining his life. But I believe, deep down, Joshu Higashikata is not a bad guy. The first complaint should be a quick and easy one to go over. It's the complaint that he is ugly. There isn't too much to argue here. While he does have a not-so-stellar haircut that's definitely not doing him any favors, because of Rocky's art style in almost every other way, like physically being muscular, and he has a pretty attractive face, Joshu is not ugly in the slightest. Hirohiko Araki's art style has evolved into Jojolian, where unless a character is purposefully drawn ugly, for example poor Tom and Dolomite, I can guarantee everyone would think Joshu is a pretty attractive character if he didn't have a not so stellar haircut. Joshu at heart loves his family and he wants to protect them. One of the most out of context screenshots is from chapter 8 of the part titled Dawn of the Higashikata Household. In case you didn't know, Joshu's mother, Kato Higashikata, was locked up in prison for 15 years, and Joshu and Daya Higashikata do not remember her at all. She was released from prison and came into the house expecting a warm welcome. Meanwhile, Hato and Norosuke Higashikata are the only ones who remember her. Joshu is clearly suspicious of her and can see Norisuke and Hato's negative reactions. To Joshu, this person is not his mother, is a complete stranger, and a possible threat. The screenshot consists of Joshu telling his mother, Hey, you got pretty big tits, why don't you let me get a suckle? This screenshot is taken incredibly out of context, many people using it as a point on why Joshu is a bad person. But Daya, his nearly blind younger sister, doesn't realize this and goes to approach Kato. Joshu is not afraid to fuck with anyone who fucks with his family. So he tells Daya to move out of the way and kicks a chair out from under his mom. Then he uses Nut King Call, his stand, to take off her top. And he was being as gross and disgusting and despicable as possible to get this woman who he sees as a threat to his family to leave the house. Then, despite all of that, Joshu decides to try and show some sympathy, because it's his mother after all, by picking up her cards that she dropped, and got attacked by her stand and stabbed in the chin, getting told off for what he did. However, the plan still worked, and the threat left the house. In the Milagro Man arc, he's cursed with infinite money, and by the end he confronts and returns the curse on the person who gave it to him, but Joshu still did not instigate this. What he did at first, stealing the wallet, was wrong, but the guy purposefully left the wallet behind to trick someone like Joshu. 
Joshu was simply being himself and he gets fucked over for doing it during this arc. Realizing at the end of the arc that he doesn't have any talents and he has to be good for something, but he doesn't feel like he is, which causes him as a character to grow and evolve and mature. Finally, to address the elephant in the room, the accusation that Joshu is a rapist. I believe that this is false, and if you were to read or reread the arc Paper Moon Deception, I would hope that you would realize this too, and that it was a big misunderstanding. So in case you haven't caught up with Part 8 yet, or you haven't started Part 8 yet, there's an arc called Paper Moon Deception, and it re revolves around, I'm going to butcher his name, Tsuguri, Tsuguri, Tsuguri Higashikata, and his stand, Paper Moon King. A stand that makes it so you can't differentiate between people's faces, and everyone looks the same to you. Josuke takes Joshu's phone, as instructed by Paisley Park, and calls Yasuo before also getting attacked by Paper Moon King. Yasuo, already under attack from the stand, tries to meet up with Josuke, however, they cannot tell each other apart. Yasuo runs into Joshu while thinking that he was Josuke. However, Joshu does not know this. She hugs him and tells him that she's been wet ever since he called her. She spilled a drink on her skirt earlier. Joshu is so completely blinded by his love for Yasuo, he assumes she means that in a sexual way. Yasuo tells Joshu that she wants to go somewhere alone with him. He leads her into a bathroom stall and he starts taking off his pants. At this point, Yasuo realizes that she's not talking to Josuke, so she takes a lid to a toilet, knocks him out, and runs away. It is very clearly shown to be a misunderstanding on Joshu's part. He misinterpreted this situation, made a fool out of himself, and ended up being the butt of the joke. Many people use this as evidence that Joshu was trying to rape Yasuo, when in reality, he thought that this was a completely consensual situation. I personally think Joshu Higashikata is a good man and a good character, despite being a little bit of a scumbag. I still understand if people don't like his character, but I would never go as far as to say he's an awful person and a rapist. And with the release of Jojo in chapter 95, and hopefully more chapters of him redeeming himself, I hope more people will realize the same. This is why I believe Joshu Higashikata is the most misunderstood character in Jojo Leon. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and follow me on Twitter if you didn't come here already. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.